Hi, Lori Craig with Split Coast Stampers. Today I want to show you a fun technique that uses masking fluid and your favorite color medium to create a beautiful smooth background. You're going to need masking fluid, a brayer, a working craft mat, a background stamp, cardstock, today I'm using glossy, and a color medium. Today I'm going to be using some Copic marker and the Copic airbrush system. Masking fluid is a traditional method of whiting out detail that you want to preserve in white or very light color when you're painting, spraying, or airbrushing. It's typically applied with a wet water brush, and I love applying it over small details as an airbrush or stencil mask. But today I'm going to show you how to use the masking fluid for a more abstract background. All right, let's get started. This next step I'm going to do fairly quickly. I've got glossy cardstock, I've got a small background stamp. I've got my masking fluid and I have got a small brayer. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a small amount of masking fluid onto my craft mat. Okay. I'm going to set that aside, stick the lid back on it, and I'm going to roll it into a thin layer with my brayer. Okay. Okay. Working very quickly, I'm going to press that background stamp into the masking fluid, make sure that I get it covered, nice coverage. And then I'm going to bring it to my glossy cardstock, press, and lift. Okay, so now this is, um, I'm just going to leave this like this. You can see the masking fluid adhering to the glossy cardstock. This is going to take just a few minutes to dry, so I'm going to set it aside. I don't want to rush this with a heat gun or with an air tool. Doing so would um, cause the masking fluid to permanently adhere to the paper and then be a mess when I get ready to lift it up later. So I'm going to set that aside. All right, so my masking fluid is dry. And I know it's dry because if I lay my back of my hand onto the cardstock, it's um, not cool to the touch. As it dries, it'll be room temperature and no different from your actual cardstock. So I'm ready to apply a background. And I'm just going to use a series of pink and red markers, red Copic markers with the Copic airbrush system. So I'm going to insert the chisel end. Make sure that it's lined up with the nozzle. And I always pull the back end off of the marker when I'm airbrushing just so I can get a nice even air pressure through the body of the marker and a nice spray then onto my cardstock. So I want to work here with a light pink to a dark so that I get some nice variegation across my um, background. So that's an R21. And then I'm going to go to a more of a mauve with an R80. Okay. And work from the other side, kind of to make those two meet. Nice and steady. I'm going to take out a darker mauve with an R85. You kind of see it rolling over the texture of the masking fluid. Okay, the Copic marker dries very quickly, so by the time I have my markers picked back up, I'm ready to gently rub away the masking film and expose the white areas underneath. And here you can see where I have my design exposed by the masking film where it has resisted the Copic marker. And I have a nice contrast visual interest. I'm going to cut this down with a die cut so I'm not worried about it being perfect. Alright, so I've brushed all the dry masking fluid away and a soft cloth might help if you've got a sticky medium. Um, or a little bit of a tacky medium that you're working with. I place my die where I want it to get a full design, run it through my die cut machine, end up with a tag that becomes an accent to my finished card. So let me show you the finished card. And, um, you know, if you don't have any background stamps handy that you want to try this technique, you can make your own fun variations, maybe splattering the masking fluid with an old toothbrush, a stencil brush, or maybe even a piece of wadded up paper for di different textures. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you're inspired to try something new today. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.